Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Pisces Soul Tribe, I want to get into some general messages for you. And of course, anything you need from me can be found down below in the description box. Let's get those energies surrounding you. See what people have to think, what people have to um, say, you know, concerning you, possibly after endings, um, possibly while still even in some connections Um as well let's grab your vibe first and then we'll grab the vibe of yours concerning you divine what's the vibe for pisces at this time okay um so in no particular order um masculine energy authority discipline father figure okay and then we have nightlife striptease gamble vegas listen <laughs> I feel like somebody is really out there enjoying yourself. I'm definitely um definitely getting a sense of you could be going to parties, you could be um being invited to um event um events. It's something also here about um you being a main character. Um uh, people enjoy your energy and when you step into a room, listen, okay? It's something about you being an attention grabber, you are looking very attractive um, at this present time. I feel like you've also done a lot of work and there's some form of celebration um, that is happening here as well. But I do also feel like with um, with character words such as gamble, I feel like there's something that you're definitely um, about to take a risk on. OK, I definitely feel like this risk could be moving. Um, that move could possibly even be Vegas. Um, I also feel like somebody feels like they're going to get lucky. Um, maybe um, get, um, some form of gambling, i.e. lottery as well. Um, I feel like someone's been playing the lottery a little more lately. Okay. I'm also hearing um, something about a rebirth, a resurrection, uh, almost a stepping into what was there waiting for you to come to it okay almost lifeless um you in essence gave something life maybe even giving yourself um a new form of life as well okay dope okay let's move you off to the side okay divine concerning those around pisces what's the vibe what is the perspective divine okay we have um, tension, stressed out, migraines, worried. I feel like there is somebody um, in your energy who is bothered possibly by the fact that you are not coming back. Um, this concerns them. This stresses them. This bothers them. I feel like someone is experiencing um, the impact. Um, of your absence is is what I'm hearing and no it's not one of those things where you will never never ever find another lover like me no um, it's just something very specific about your energy um, maybe something that you've done you know with this person okay but I feel like there's some sort of I'm hearing deep impact I feel like you had an impact on an individual that they didn't expect you to have on them okay Mm-hmm. Divine, what else? Ah. Burn bridges. Lack of trust. Disloyal. Turn back on. Somebody knows the reason why you left. And once again, I feel like somebody is really realizing um the impact of not having access to you. Okay? This bridge is burnt. OK, I feel like there's somebody you feel like you you can't trust. I definitely also feel like this is a um, many, probably many different individuals who you've turned your back on as well. But we can we can talk about one sole individual. This is somebody you don't want to have anything else to do with. If you burned a bridge, I'm just saying. <laughs> what else, divine? So recharge, breathe, let go, clear your mind. I feel like there is an individual, 
you know, surrounding you that has respectfully let you go. I feel like with with some Pisces, there um, is um, just peaceful endings. I feel like there was literally an amicable departing or even departure. I feel like somebody is also somebody has learned healing or has has discovered the steps in how to heal because of watching you. I feel like someone will always take with them the memories because it wasn't all bad. It wasn't even bad is what I'm hearing. It's just it just wasn't a thing. And, and I feel like there's just I feel like somebody will always have the memories. Is what I'm hearing. OK, what else, divine? Last one. OK, so shattered, broken, nightmares, failures. Yeah, there's somebody who is just in definite, definite regret, definitely um, definite reflections as well. A mirror is very significant as well. I feel like somebody is seeing themselves, seeing possibly even the damage that they've possibly even caused. Definitely. I feel like, yeah, somebody's definitely seeing the damage that, that they've caused. I'm also feeling... um. I'm also seeing the word hurt. OK, so definitely something here um, is painful. Divine clarify attention. Wow. Yikes. So um, narcissist, um, egotistical, opportunist, fragile. Yeah, so what's interesting is that card actually flipped over quite a few times in my hand. It was actually the second card, and I just wanted to get a good shuffle in. And even with me shuffling, it still came out anyway. So I definitely feel like somebody is um, in their ego. Somebody's definitely um, in their ego. Somebody is acting like they are not bothered by the fact that you have moved on or are moving on. Whether this is you dating somebody or just being cool all on your own. Because I, I will be honest, you are looking really good at this present time. You are looking like you are enjoying yourself. You're looking like a breath of fresh air. Um, if you are up in age, you don't look like it. You look like you are really enjoying yourself. You're probably probably even feeling the best you've ever felt in your life. And that's because you really, truly know what healing is now. And I feel like with some healed space, I definitely feel like you are taking moments in time to like really, truly enjoy yourself, especially with masculine energy and night life coming out. I feel like you're definitely enjoying yourself and I feel like somebody is possibly salty and I feel like this is something that they will not say out loud. They'll act like everything is cool. This is also the type of individual who will see you out um, enjoying yourself and they will act like they're really, truly OK with seeing you. You can be cool because you really are in a healed space. But something about this narcissist, they're going to act like they're OK and cool and that they're really enjoying themselves and probably start acting with their friends. But I definitely feel like this is somebody who's really fragile. Um, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Okay. Burn bridges, divine. Uh huh. So thrills. Um, continuous cycles. Bad decisions. Addictions. I feel like at one point in time, I'm hearing emotional roller coaster. Loving you is nothing healthy. Loving you was never good for me, but I can't get off. There's just something about something being repetitive, redundant, being a continuous um, cycle. And I feel like, you know, that you possibly this possibly um, was a bad decision. But it was something about you being addicted to the thrill of a thing. OK, um, something about it um, in the beginning stages of it was exciting. Yeah, something definitely um, about the beginning stages of a situation um, was very, very exciting. And I feel like the only reason I'm getting this perspective is because this is a burn bridge. I definitely feel like you also pulled your energy 
um, back from um, an individual. There's someone that you are giving absolutely nothing. You are literally in, in a space of indifference. OK. Mm hmm. This is something that you did with someone repetitively, continuously. And I feel like a cycle is finally over. Definitely feeling um, ten of ten of pentacles. And excuse me, ten of swords, not ten of pentacles. Uh, well, this could be a ten of pentacles, ten of swords situation. Um, definitely, if you were um, married or in a very strong union with someone, um, this could have possibly ended in some sort of separation or divorce. Recharge, divine. Breathe, let go. Clear your mind. Drowning. Over your head, um, overextended, rock bottom. Yeah, I feel like someone was completely depleted. And I'm hearing like a um a whirlpool of emotions. Whirlpool specifically. Something also um a not not allowed be, um not being able to breathe. Like, I feel like something was restricting who you possibly even were as an individual. Like you really couldn't you really couldn't be yourself. And I felt I feel in essence, this other individual as well couldn't be themselves either. It's almost something like it's almost like something is out of reach, like something isn't connecting. Yeah, I feel like there were multiple efforts and multiple um, resolutions to even getting things done, but all of them ended up being resulting in the same feeling is also what I'm hearing. Okay, Divine Shattered, Broken Nightmare. We have Toxic, Drama, arguments um incompatible yeah see i definitely feel like this was um an individual who was um in in essence very very ruthless this is definitely giving me somebody who could possibly um in multiple ways um be abusive i feel like this is also the type of individual who who would um try to punch a, not even try they will punch a hole in a wall to boost um some sort of intimidation um, I'm getting coward is what I'm feeling. Very much so. Very much so a coward. Divine concerning Pisces, what is this masculine energy and nightlife? Okay. Um, so we first have justice coming out. I feel like something just um balance. I feel like at one point in time, there was something about you be you being down on your luck. But I feel like with you, with you, with this masculine energy um, and nightlife, um, striptease, gamble, Vegas, there's just something definitely about you going off with the intention um, to enjoy yourself. Um, something also um, about um, an enjoyment of an experience. So something new you could possibly um, be experiencing as well. OK, Hermit at the bottom of the deck. This could also um, be something that you are doing um, on your own. So eight of swords as well as the six of wands. So, yeah, I feel like something at one point in time was um, very restricted from you. I feel like you could have been restricted, um, like some sort of access, um, maybe not having the funds, the revenue um, to be able to really, truly enjoy yourself in the manner into which you would want to. Um, something about it just being being locked away. You felt restricted. But I feel like now with this six of wands energy, something is coming into balance. I feel at one point in time you were down on your luck with this eight of swords okay um but i feel like something with the six of wands just means you're moving um in the right direction i'm here i'm also seeing the chariot but i also feel like you're gonna be, um i saw seven of cups at the bottom of the deck so definitely nightlife definitely indulging um enjoying yourself trying different things is also what i'm hearing okay whatever that may be okay because whatever happens in vegas stays in vegas okay so listen, divine six of wands, king of pentacles. 
Yes, I definitely feel like you. There's some sort of stability. Um, you could possibly even be, begin to see um, a sudden increase in in your finances. Um, you could um, receive um, offerings, is what I'm hearing. Um, donations, um, any form of um, financial increase. Okay, with the King of Pentacles, Four of Cups. I also feel like it's been a long time coming. Long time coming. But I'm definitely going to leave that alone. Like, I feel like you're you're you you've grown. I feel like someone sought after stability and I feel like you found favor with it. I feel like I feel like the divine was there all along with you as well, especially with the justice um, coming into place, because something is is it's honest, it's true, it's real. It belongs to you. It's what's fair um, is also what I'm hearing. OK. So divine. <clears throat> Here we go. This tension and narcissus, what message do you have here for us? So five of pentacles. Yes, I feel like this is somebody that's definitely um, been left out of the cold um, with the temperance. I feel like there has been a change of flow, um, a change of what you give, a change of energy. I feel like this person is without your energy with the temperance at the bottom of the deck without your presence. And something about being without your presence showed this individual who they truly, truly are. Whereas something about your presence showed this individual who they really were. Um, definitely giving me mirror vibes. I feel like you were literally someone's elevated reflection. And I feel like with meeting you, this is someone that you probably um, triggered um, a tower. Divine Five of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. This is somebody who's without your energy, man. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. This also this is a um um an individual who can also be um holding back on the struggle, holding back on showing fake it till you make it. I feel like somebody's really struggling here. Um struggling to like really stay stable, struggling possibly to um stay emotionally stable as well, especially with the temperance, with the change of energy. With something not being with something no longer being given to them. Definitely. Divine moving forward. Knight of Swords. Yeah. Mm. I feel like this is definitely definitely the type of individual who needs to seek after peace. Um, I feel like this um, they also need to um, heal because like I feel like this is um, the type of individual who will take actions on things knowing that they shouldn't knowing that they need to be a healed individual. This definitely this night of source definitely give me somebody who's who's going out to do um, um, have some risky activities um, who could also be um, trying to heal or trying to mend through um, sex. What else divine? Mm -hmm. With the judgment of the nine of cups. Yes. I feel like this is definitely an individual who's really going out to like really make um, maybe poor decisions, poor choices um, with the nine of cups, with the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is somebody who's choosing to go out and be um, out there. And hey, that's their business, like definitely. But, it's you know, it's coming out. I feel like this is somebody who um, is abusing their sexual prowess. I feel like this is somebody who is attractive. I mean, because most most narcissists are. Uh, um, but yeah, there's something um, very attractive about this individual who um, people let them have their way. And I feel like this is what they this is what they're doing with the seven. Uh, yeah. With the seven of cups and the nine of swords, five of swords, the world with the queen of pentacles. King of Pentacles, lastly. Yeah, this is definitely an individual who's um, possibly being haunted by the loss of losing you, um, possibly even as a partner, friend or whatever. But I definitely feel like somebody is um, out being quite lusty, quite zesty. OK. Um, <clears throat> Divine burn bridges and thrills, continuous cycles, bad decisions. This almost feels like a carryover. Uh, with the Knight of Cups, definitely feels like a carryover. Um, but let's see. There's definitely somebody out here who I'm hearing player vibes. Um, definitely feel like somebody is. I feel like somebody. I feel like they have a. There's something about sexual energy, man. 
with the three of wands, this is something that somebody thought would possibly even keep you coming back. I feel like somebody had a hold on somebody sexually vet lust. Lust. Somebody did something and they did it well. Okay. Knight of Cups, Divine. Seven of Wands. Um, the hangman. I almost this is somebody that you that you had to fight yourself off of. And I don't mean in a in a in an abusive way. Like you you it's almost like somebody was too much. Like you you needed to get um away from this energy because that's all it became. Three of Wands still at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, that's all it became. What else, Divine? Yeah, Queen of Wands, Four of Pentacles. This is all it became. Four of Pentacles over here as well. I feel like this is just definitely what it is. I feel like this is literally a carryover. I feel like somebody is is taking advantage of um, possibly um, multiple people. Queen of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I feel like this is somebody that you definitely got away from. And I feel like with you moving away from them, this is like release the Kraken. Okay. Like they, they, they out here in these streets. Okay. Four of Pentacles, lastly, Divine. Yeah, with the Hermit. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so this is definitely somebody who is being a lone ranger, okay? They being a lone ranger <laughs> out here in these streets, um, um, seeking who they can devour. Yes, somebody has pros in different area codes, okay? <laughs> oh, good God almighty. <laughs> uh, recharge, drowning divine. Uh, just like I said, Ten of Swords. That's crazy. Ten of Swords. As well as the Will of Fortune. Something definitely was fated um, to come to an end, a cycle. I feel like, as I said, there are many lessons learned here. I feel like there are many different experiences that you were intended to get. It was almost like you were intended to get something in this space so you can take it back to where you came from. In order to use it, to grow from it, to to expand um, on it with the knight of um, excuse me, with the king of wands um, at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there is something that um, someone took action on. OK, let's see. Divine, what's the message here? So ace of swords. Yes, yeah, somebody took action. I feel like somebody somebody took action on telling the truth. I feel like somebody finally opened their mouth and saw something for what it really was. And they spoke, they spoke about it. I feel like somebody, somebody told the truth with the queen of swords at the bottom of the deck. Yes. Somebody told the truth. And I feel like it wasn't um, in any harm. I feel like it came in grace. I feel like it came in compassion. I feel like um, endings hurt um, no matter what kind of ending, ending they are. I feel like they leave, they leave an imprint. They leave a mark. They leave a scar. And I feel like it's something about always remembering that, you know, busting the windows out somebody's car could be significant because you'll probably always have that ugly scar. OK. Somebody definitely spoke up. <clears throat> Ace of Swords, Devon. Yeah, with the page of wands, I feel like somebody spoke up and told someone that it's finally possibly even time to move on. Um, to probably move and forge ahead in different directions with this page of wands, knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Page of wands, divine. Nine of swords. Yeah, I felt like somebody had to speak up on something because this is something that kept someone up at night. I felt like somebody wasn't getting any sleep. And I feel like this was possibly even um, a mental distraction. I feel like you possibly even had some sort of vision or even nightmare about it as clarity on what you needed to do 
with the five of swords at the bottom of the deck, um, giving me a sense that nobody really wins here. Like there is no there is no winning here. I feel like both both parties as a whole um, are affected here, especially with what's, co with what's coming out. This has such an ease to it. it there's a peace about it, but there also is still um, emotion um, behind it with the five of swords because nobody really nobody nobody won here. Nobody won. What else, Devon? Yeah, with the temperance. I feel like there was just a change in flow. There's peace here. Um, I feel like something was meant to move um, in a different direction. And I feel like something was meant to come to um, an end. I'm hearing peace like a river flows. Okay. Last one, Devon. Eight of cups. Excuse me, five of cups, not eight of cups, five of cups. So, yeah, I feel like there is a change in, in, in view. I feel like while something may be disappointed, there is an understanding um, of that. There's a dealing um, with it. I feel like somebody's not emotionless, uh, emotionless. I feel like there's just definitely somebody here who is dealing with the emotions of um, being left behind. OK, with things coming to an end. Divine, shattered and toxic. So the fool. Yeah, this is definitely something you got away from. Something about a risk with definitely with the risk. I feel like somebody is getting out and they're enjoying yourselves, especially with the three of wands. Full divine. The devil. Yes. You got away from the devil. Very interesting. Divine clarify the devil. The world. Yes. You ended a cycle. You ended a cycle of something very toxic to you. Um, something that was also attached to you as well. Something is definitely coming to a fresh, clean start for you. And I feel like there's definitely some form of abundance because this time you know how to do it and you will do it right. Is what I'm hearing with this fool. OK, with the three of wands at the bottom of the deck, something about you, you've you've done this before. And there's something about also um, patience, waiting, waiting in spaces where you didn't previously. Um, taking your time as well is very significant. Divine moving forward. Eight of cups where well, there goes the eight of cups. So, yes, there's something you definitely walked away from to walk into. I definitely feel like someone is stepping into who you are as an individual. I feel like with this eight of cups comes the hermit, some type of hermit phase. I feel like you got off to yourself and you began to discover who you are as an individual, what you wanted to see happen, uh, what you could discover. I feel like there's also some form of self-reflection. Um, that's um, steeped in here with this um, eight of cups. OK, I definitely feel like there's lessons learned here and I feel like there's some extension of, of grace um, that will also come soon because I feel like somebody is being harsh on themselves and I feel like you don't deserve that. I feel like extend yourself some grace because you didn't know. And there's something also about you not experiencing that before. OK, nobody walks into anything expecting their heart to be broken. OK, yeah, nobody, nobody walks into spaces um, like that where people play a game. Um, I'm also hearing a mask, seven of swords, um, um, seven of cups as well. Some form of illusion. I feel like somebody projected many different things to you in the beginning because I feel like in the beginning, something was an enjoyable ride. And I feel like slowly and truly you realize you were on a highway to hell. Eight of cups, divine. <clears throat> The high priestess. Yes, I feel like there's just definitely modes of trusting oneself with the hierophant um, at the bottom of the deck. Something about guidance as well. I feel like um, I say it all the time. Let your conscience be your guide. There's something about you being guided by um, what you feel, um, what you know as well. Your inner knowing. OK, especially with the Hierophant. But there's also something about you speaking up as necessary um, as well. Divine High Priestess. 
Okay. So Eight of Wands, the Magician, as well as the Ace of Swords. Yes. I feel like something is just like really meant to happen for you. Something that you've been working on, something that you've also um, been building on. You've been working on something in hidden spaces where no one can see. I feel like with this Ace of Swords and the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck, somebody is about to step out in spaces and show people what you're really made of with this masculine energy and this nightlife. People are really, truly about to see you out in a space where you are not only enjoying yourself, but you're enjoying life and all those around you. Pisces Soul Tribe, that was your reading. Um, hopefully this message resonates with you in some way, shape, form or fashion, and you're able to take something from it that you can use. Pisces, if there's anything you need from me, you can find those details down below in the description box. And as always, Pisces Soul Tribe. Remember to conquer this day. Bye, guys.